Hey, I'm Rob, and this is the Roomba 692i robot. I've owned it for two years, and here are my thoughts. Are you there? I'm here. Alexa, clean the house. If I had hands, I would gladly help. I do have a playlist that might turn this to Alexa, can you please ask Roomba 692 to clean the room, please? Okay. Okay, so here are all the things I love about the Roomba, and then I'll get to my dislikes right after that. Okay, so it has this smart detect feature where it can sense where there's extra dirty areas, and it goes towards those areas, and it does not like brooms for some reason. Also, it's able to figure out where the stairs are and avoid stairs and falling off stairs. If it gets stuck in corners or on some edge or something, it will alert you, and it actually is incredibly smart at figuring out where to uh, go and not go. It actually was able to figure out how to get out of this closet, which was pretty cool. It's able to get out of awkward furniture situations. I was a little concerned that I'd have to be constantly uh, watching over it and babysitting it and making sure it doesn't get stuck anywhere, but that wasn't the case at all. It actually can figure out even a really complex situation like this, no problem, so it's really autonomous and hands-free. And it's really low to the ground, so it gets under couches, very easily and gets under where all that grubby spots are that normal vacuums can't get to, which is a really cool feature. So setup is real easy, just plug and go and press go. You can see here you can remove all the dirt right there and just empty it out so it's real easy and convenient to empty it and then it's back on the floor cleaning for you again. But this is the bottom, you can see the three stage cleaning system and it's really geared toward pet owners and it really picks up a lot of pet hair. I got a cat and a dog and it really picks up all that hair, which I really love. I was really worried about that. That yellow object with the three prongs is how it cleans corners, kind of sticks out the side there. So it gets really into those corners, no problem. Again, I was concerned about that. I think what I really love about this is how smart it is. You simply press home on the machine and it'll just find its way back home. It also finds its way back home when the battery's running low. As you can see here, it just pops back in. Now it comes with the app called iRobot and you can schedule it, which I really love. You can schedule it for when you're not there and it'll just start cleaning and stop cleaning when you come home. You don't even know if it's working because it's working while you're away, which is really neat. Okay, so there are a few dislikes that I have. One is it is a little noisy. I'm a, a light sleeper, so uh, if it's running on the main floor and I'm sleeping on the upstairs floor, I will hear it a little bit. I still sleep through it, but I just notice it a bit. Um, other people in the household don't seem to have a problem with it, but it's a small thing because I usually just run it when I'm not there anyway, so it's not really a big deal for me. And there is the odd time it will get stuck near where the balcony meets the floor. There's a little metal ridge. It kind of gets caught on there once in a while, but it doesn't happen very often. So overall, I would say the pluses definitely outweigh the negatives because it saves me a ton of time and the money is well spent and um, I absolutely love it. It keeps me from constantly sweeping up dog hair and cat hair. So overall, I hope that helps you in your decision on getting your Roomba.